Hello everyone, I'd just like to welcome you to another uh, video from the team at Dodgy Software. Um, this video comprises a, uh, a, a tech demo that I made for my team in order to prove that writing a 2.5D side-scroller would actually be viable. Um, it comprised a large amount of my early learning about uh, physics engines and this is about the most basic that you could get. Um, this, uh, it, it's not, there's actually no physics wrapper. This is me playing around directly with the physics engine, creating some basic game objects and some collidable components. Um, nothing uh, particularly uh, complicated. Um, the demo, which will feature after this one, will feature a bit more complicated, uh, <laughs> a lot more features actually. But let me show uh, let me show you some of the uh, physics in action. You can um, actually interact with objects. You can uh, strike spheres and make them rotate and spin. Um, so this uh, this program was uh, actually just incredibly groundbreaking for me because I'd never played with a physics engine before. And uh, I, after I looked at a good number of them and found that uh, the basic interfaces, uh, the, the API interfaces, I didn't like. Um, they seemed uh, really unnecessarily complicated. The Newton Game Dynamics library offers a C style interface as opposed to a C++ style interface which is obviously offered by larger packages like NVIDIA PhysX and also by uh, the Havoc as well. Obviously there are direct advantages to having C style interfaces to uh, a physics engine um, especially for gaming. Uh, when you start I guess going over... Ob when you over... Uh, object orient everything, you end up tying yourself in knots with circular includes and all sorts of uh, horrible problems that arise and a C style interface is very clean. Um, I guess the modern trend is, uh, is the move away from uh, globals of any kind but um, I did like the... Uh, I, do, I really like uh, Newton Game Dynamics. It has very little documentation um, as to how everything works, but um, I had spent a long time researching and slowly figured out everything I needed. Um, but uh, yeah, this was uh, my first and earliest steps with uh, physics. I hope that uh, you've enjoyed uh, enjoyed watching this demo. Uh, take care.